In this video, we are going to discuss about the construction of hose pipes. Okay, so when we talk about uh, the construction of hose pipe, first of all, I, have, I, I want to tell you that we have already covered the difference between hose pipe and spurling pipes. Okay, so here we'll restrict our discussion to the hose pipes. Okay, to provide an easy lead for cable from windlass to anchor. The hose pipe must be uh, so one thing should be clear the definition from windlass to the anchor okay so it is fitted it is not uncommon for a temporary temporary scale model of the relevant fore end structure to be constructed and the position of the hose pipe may be experiment with in order to obtain the best lead okay uh, so here they have represented a model uh, tubular hose pipe are generally fabricated so it is fabricated and castings are welded at shell and deck to prevent chaffing okay casting uh, is uh, done and welding is done to prevent chaffing so as you can see here in this figure so it is totally casted and welded all together so here you see the welding here you see it is casted totally it is wood sheeting okay now we move on and see uh, additional stiffening in way of the hose pipe is required the side shell on higher speed vessel recess is often provided in the shell for anchor stowage this helps to reduce any drag caused by the stored anchor and prevent serious damage in the event of a collision okay so you see here this is casting at the shell and it is uh, weld and this is tabular uh, section of the hose pipe that we were discussing about this is the side shell local inert plate okay till here you find it casting and then it is welded further okay so this is the overhaul uh, overall uh, arrangement that here you find the chain locker then we have the upper deck beside you the hatch for the chain locker then this is the spurling pipe from the chain locker to the windlass that is spurling pipe from the windlass to the anchor that is uh, uh, sp uh, hose pipe okay so i hope it is uh, clear for you so we go on for, uh, we look at the next uh, book in uh, ship construction altogether hose pipe may be made of cast steel so it is made up of cast steel steel in which case they are usually cast from wooden models made in place in the ship so it is made from the wooden models okay made in place they are now often built up of heavy plates they are built up of heavy plates usually with cast steel lip welded to them so these are generally cast steel so see the difference so that is the reason why i took two different books to explain you directly i am taking the text from the book all together okay so they are lip welded what what is done they are lip welded okay the sketch shows one type of welded hose pipe with a lip or chaffing ring welded to its lower edge okay so we have what is known as chaffing ring and that is lip welding okay so you see here in this diagram this is the chaffing ring that we were talking about at the lower end okay at the lower edge at the upper end it is welded to a block which has a raised lip to take the chafe of the cable at the upper end so when we talk about the upper end so this is the upper end altogether so it is the at the upper end it is welded to a block which has a raised lip to take the chafe of the cable also slots into which plates are uh, slight to close the pipe at c the chafing ring and blocks are riveted or bolted this, so this chafing ring uh, you see here there is a rivet they are riveted or bolted okay bolted to the shell and deck plating the lower plate of the pipe may be thickened as shown here or doubled to take the chaff of the cable so it is doubled or thickened the lower pipe is doubled or thickened to take the chaff of the 
and now this is the cross section view of the pipe you can see here so lower pipe it is doubled or thickened the shell plating the shell plating is doubled or thickened in a way of the hose pipe it is usually necessary to cut frames and beams in order to allow the pipe to pass in this case compensation is made by fitting short fore and aft pieces so uh, uh, like you see there is in any generally opening we have one compensation ring that is provided for any manhole door also when we talk about so here also because there is a material loss so in order to provide the uh, structural stability so what we are doing we are giving a compensation ring so the same way what we are here in hose pipe cut frame in order to allow the pipe to pass in case the compensation is made by fitting short fore and aft pieces called carlings so we have carlings here which is known as uh, carlings that is provided you see here in the diagram so this is carling so carling is provided to support uh, for the compensation to support the cut ends and the frames may be reinforced and to support and the frames may be reinforced so this is all together that we have discussed about okay so you see here in this diagram so this is the carling that is provided so here you see in here you will have and this is the four casual deck this is the upper deck so the, these are the carlings also and this is the pipe you see here all together going and coming at both the end upper end and at the lower end this is the cross section view and uh, i have also shown you the chaffing which is riveted or welded all together okay this is the upper end and this is the lower end of the deck altogether okay thank you so much